So today we're going to do a factory reset on my MS906TS and update it. Now this scanner is about two years out of date. Uh, the first problem I started having with it was about a month ago where this top line uh, here where uh, you've got your manual input and your bin detect and all these, the none of the buttons work. So what I was having to do is manually scroll here to whatever manufacturer I needed and, and go that way. So uh, I'm pretty sure the digitizer is going to have to be replaced. So I called Altel. I asked them that uh, if I had an active update, uh, if that would include the warranty to where if doing a factory reset does not work, if they would replace the screen and they said they would so I needed an update anyway like I say it's two years out of date um, so I went ahead and bought a bought an update here's the card and we're going to go through how, how you do that anyway but so you whenever you get your card you're going to scratch the the uh, glue or whatever it is off of it that covers up the number and then you go to the website and you put that number in. And whenever you put that number in, then it gives you your your update. And let me show you what you never want to do, as I learned on, on this. So because this line here, and see I've still got a habit of trying to click up there and it's, it, it doesn't work. Um, So, you know, I've never installed anything on this scanner. Uh, so I thought, you know, let me see what all options we got. See if there's some kind of a cleanup or anything like that. Well, I went to Maxi Tools here. And it's got this garbage can uh, deal. You know, it says it'll speed up your tool. Uh, some data on the tool will be erased, which would include some temporary data on the internal storage. Any installed uh, applications, upgraded tools, configuration, you know, for like the Wi-Fi and stuff, and some stuff in the cache. Does not say it's going to delete any important files. So you got a little button here that says garbage clear. So I clicked that. It went through its deal. Looked like it was all fine. Figured it'd clean up some old cache files, files that I've saved from jobs from, from the past couple years. Well, all was good, it seemed like. You know, I mean, I still had all my icons here. Uh, this would still come up, you know, the main Maxisys screen. But now, if you watch, uh, we'll just go to GM, because I know GM is one. If I go to GM, this is what I get. Uh... It, it, it can't find it can't find a particular file I guess is what that is and that's uh, typical on almost everything that I've done now so it, it's it's removed something that it needs so do not ever use their garbage can cleanup unless you have an active subscription currently then you'll at least be able to put it back. Now, I needed a subscription anyway, so I wasn't too worried about it. I wasn't worried about experimenting around and, and, and doing this. Ever since I've had this scanner, I always, uh, whenever I shut it down, well, I get back to this screen here, and then I push the button up top here, and I completely shut it off at this screen. I never shut it off on any other screen. I, I get out of any any application that I'm in. So with that said, I'm going to do a factory reset and we're going to uh, see how that how that works. Now go over here to reset. Factory data reset. <clears throat> okay. Reset tablet. And I don't have an SD card installed at, at the moment, so. Uh, 
Here we go. Uh, and I don't know how long this is going to take, so I may not. Eh, I don't know. It's already rebooting, so it may not take long. And I did talk to Autel, and they said that this would be an acceptable procedure. They said just do a factory reset and then re-update all the Maxisys software. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're back up here at the screen. Now, real quick, another thing I wanted to, to mention that happened about a year ago was I updated the firmware for the uh, Maxiscope that I have. They had an updated firmware. I wasn't having any problems, but figured maybe it'd add some functionality to it that it didn't have before, so I updated the firmware. I updated the firmware on the on the Maxi Scope, not the tablet. And with that updated firmware would not work with my uh 906 anymore. So I called uh Autel they said, oh, it took them a while to figure out why. They didn't even realize it. I guess I was the first person to contact them after that firmware update. But they said, yeah, you got to have the latest uh, operating system update for the tablet. Well, I didn't have an active subscription at the time. So I asked if I could just roll the firmware back uh, on the... Uh, On the Maxiscope, they said, no, they don't allow any firmware downgrades or rollbacks. Uh, so once you update a firmware on any of their products, at least that guy told me, they do not allow or offer an older firmware to be put back on that device, even if it messes up your, you know, your product. They don't allow it. So I was kind of screwed. Now, it did work with, a, with my laptop. So I could still use my Maxi Scope with my laptop, but not with my tablet. And I actually preferred using it with my tablet. It was just more convenient to have the tablet out there than a, a, having a laptop laying around under an engine compartment or whatever. But anyway, uh, so now I'm going to be probably more than hopefully be able to use my Maxi Scope with my tablet again because I'll have the. Uh, Okay, so it did have a, I'm connected to the internet. It did have a uh, update for the operating system. It's from June 27, 2020. Today is June 4th, 2021. So we're getting the latest uh, operating system to start with. That's the only update that it's showing right now. Uh, and once that's on, or installed rather, then uh, we'll see what other updates are available. And it should be all the all the cars. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do all. Says new version detected, upgrading in progress. And then we'll do a VCI update just as soon as I'm done here. Okay, so I don't know if it's done. So it looks like looks like all the same exact icons.
said tap OK and then launch the application again. So that's what I did. Okay, so please select the TPMS market, uh, North American. So that's different. Got an ATIS. Let's see what else may be different. Okay, there's that. Yeah, I don't remember the academy. So, okay, so as you can see, we've got 137 updates. So before we even do an update, uh, and yeah, that did not fix the screen, which I was not expecting that. Uh, so if I went... So even without doing an update, it looks like it's going to have, yeah, it's got GM version 12.0 already. It, look, it looks like built in. So without even doing an update, uh, I've already at least got GM 12.0, and we'll see what that is after the update. I always click the wrong button there. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay, there's uh, there's another system program. 430-2021, so we got to do that first, got to love it, Okay. Okay, so the TPMS uh, sensor software updated. This is the TS version. So this has got the TPMS, uh, you know, software built into it. Okay, so now we're back to all the uh, actual um, the actual software, you know, for the tablet itself, all the different manufacturer software. So I'm just going to go through here. You guys are familiar with this part. I'm going to start reinstalling uh, all the software. I don't know if I'm going to select, be picky about it. A lot of this stuff I will never work on. So I'm probably not going to install everything. No reason to. Uh, you know, I've never even heard of this brand. So I'm just going to uh, be selective, I think, about what I'm going to uh, install. But that's it. Uh, so it's it's updated, and, you know, we've already seen that now I can actually, you know, select, you know, for instance, Ford. Uh, and it does actually bring up the options. So before, this is where I would get the file not found selection. 
now it's, you know, allowing me to get back into it. So it, it, it fixed that part with the factory reset. Uh, obviously, whenever I can go without this for a couple of weeks, I'm going to have to send this to Autel to have them replace the digitizer. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show was basically the fact doing a factory reset on one of these Autel Maxis. You guys take care.